Hey guys, what's up? I'm Guilherme and in this tutorial we are going to explore a little bit more like this simple animation but uh, using uh, flat colors and a, a nice circular movement. So here we go. Uh, let's, as usual, let's start a solid and it's going to, to be the main solid for the Stardust plugin. So let's start the engine, Superlumino Stardust. And first of all, uh, let's create the circular, like secondary animation. So uh, we have some uh, kinds of emitter. Uh, let's start with a grid and let's decrease the speed and also let's get this grid a little bit more spaced and also in the on the Z axis uh, and also uh, we can we can set the grid properties here properties here so in the grid type uh, we have just the default and the sphere uh, and also in the the sphere type you can you can explore cool cool shapes like this uh, but for this example let's get not too much crazy and also at the z-axis maybe three and let's set up some particle movement here uh, so we can uh, put some extra movement for the particles with the motion node uh, let's change the motion type and set of light path let's maybe circle let's see what we get oh too crazy uh, maybe we can change the speed here and also set off this maybe a uh, sign so we it's kind of like a wave movement and first of all uh, I forgot to set up some particle properties uh, maybe we can increase the life maybe five seconds and also the over life properties so let's change the size so we can in the beginning it appears more slow yeah that's good uh, one thing that could be good uh, it's to change the emitting uh, instead of default uh, we can just uh, emit once time the particular the particles uh, maybe let's try sequence so we can get a, a nice sequential movement yeah that's good. Uh, maybe if we could uh, add the motion or the opacity too. Mm, let's see. Uh, maybe if we could speed a little bit here. And the uh, origin type, maybe the emitter origin origin yeah looks good maybe the motion type for point oh looks nice uh well yeah, looks very organic uh maybe if we could uh set up some colors let's set up the particle and particle properties uh 
random from gradient. Let's change the gradient, maybe like a neon, neon colors. Let's see. Well, it's getting better. Um, let's try, let's add a background. Yeah. Looks nice. Uh, maybe we could uh, set some replica to maybe get a, a gradient. Well, let's set the replica for the particle. Let's set some replicates and change the maybe let's see the offset angle so we can set this a little bit or maybe just the angle so we can get like the shapes maybe increase the the density maybe 5000 yeah that's good uh, maybe set some circular angle here yeah maybe that's good uh, let's set the scale so you can get like many kinds of shape here let's set up maybe one no let's Try to uh, maybe set some opacity here. So let's adjust the copy so we can offset some opacity here. So we can get a maybe a nice gradient here. Uh, let's decrease the density. Yeah, we have like some now some smooth areas here. Well, looks good. Maybe if we could add some angle here. And try to set the origin like this. Maybe we can set up. Uh, we, we have to adjust the density. Maybe the path offset, no. Uh, maybe near angle. Well, you can create nice, nice backgrounds. But anyway, uh, maybe it's not uh, too much circular because the emitter uh, it's not, it's more diagonal. But anyway, looks good. Uh, maybe we can, in the motion node, we can like set up some movement like this for the speed. So let's try to get a nice movement. Let's keyframe some speed stuff. Maybe from zero. Zero or we can also adjust the size, but let's try. Press F9. Let's change the speed of this animation. Let's see what we get. Whoa. Uh, it's good. Maybe. If we could just change a little bit more of the size art or the scale of this of this motion node. Maybe amplitude. Oh anyway. Yeah, it's going good. 
maybe if you could uh, try to decrease the, op or the opacity of the borders because it's to to our eyes just pay attention at the center uh, we can set a field node so let's add some field and let's change the field type yeah for radio grad so now you're not seeing anything oh that's it uh, it's changing uh, not the, the size but also put the opacity of the let's try some something more like this so we can Try to change it a little bit. Well, that's it. Maybe we also can set up some some blur. Oh, it's too much the size. And also set just a little bit, bit of blurriness. Well, uh, let's put more particles at the center. Uh, so, this is my region. And meter, let's put center. And also, let's set the field just for this replica, replica. And in the center, let's put some particle to emit here. Uh, and at the center, maybe we could change the type to sphere. Let's set all the particles to Let's give some more randomness. Then, and also at the center, uh, maybe we if we could if we could set. Yeah, let's set the speed to. Uh, also, let's change some over life properties. Let's set also this one. Uh, let's change some, let's put some colors. So, random from gradient. Maybe uh, we can uh, get the same gradient. So, we can copy and paste the gradient. Just select the particle, copy, and here we can paste easy as it is so uh, maybe uh, if we could add some movement to like to this to this sphere let's take the same movement the simulation movement for this particle and also uh, we can with the transform node Put this the particle. Maybe we can change and animate like some rotation, and also we can uh, transform the position. Maybe let's set this a little bit way far. Uh, and another thing, just uh, to get some uh, more perspective. Uh, at the particle, we have uh, this property here, the shadow properties, and we can 
just turn on this property and now we have some uh, some shadows here uh, maybe if we could if we could just set a uh, color for the maybe a, it's kind of and let's set the blur to zero so we can get like some strokes of course we can uh, add more things here uh, let's also animate the emitter properties maybe the particles per second let's change this to zero and so it can also disappear in a good in a nice way so we can uh, add some effects but like for just a, a simple animation I think it the result is, is going good so you can use as a, an intro or uh, just a random background I can also uh, set some other uh, other layers or another effect let's maybe add some circles let's change the path and also you can animate using all the shape layers maybe if you could add some like a uh, orbits uh, let's change a little bit also we can repeat with the repeater let's set this let's set up more maybe eight copies change the settings here so we can add like a radial radial lines uh, maybe the end opacity yeah that's cool uh, if we could maybe like a classic color dodge and also change the and also animate this that's it hope you like it uh, and please if you like just like this video and subscribe to the channel thank you and see you next time